Hi everybody, this is Alice here. Oh, just give me a moment, sorry. The noise outside my window is pretty loud. Um, and I want to quickly come on and just show you this. Um, this is my second pocket letter that I just completed. And this is actually for Irene or Crafty Irene's um, uh, challenge, birthday challenge. So just go a quick, quickly go through it. Um, this is a VR um, for her challenge and uh, once I've done this, I'm going to send this out. So I've used the archivist um, paper that was by Primer, which I think I showed in a recent haul. Just give me a minute. Yeah, so this is the paper. I bought the A4 paper pad and the paper that I use is this one. So it's this double-sided paper, and uh, if you look at the back, you will see the numbers. Yeah, these are the goodies that I placed inside. So I, I've tried this second pocket letter, um, tried to make it um, simple, and um, you know, just with a little, a few images and stuff. So um, just a quick review of, uh, just a quick overview of what I've placed inside. Sorry for the glare on the side, yeah, because my window is on the right. Yep, so I gave, uh, I put like, some washi here and there is um, something else behind. <laughs> I won't show all that, it's a surprise for um, Irene. Then um, this is the, um, just a die cut from, um, this is not from the archive, the die cuts are not from archive, archivist, sorry. Uh, they are actually from my um, local bookshop I saw they were selling, you know, like die cut shapes like this. And it was really nice because it came in like all this very vintagey images and stuff. So I thought I'd just use some of them in um because the color sort of coordinated and matched with the paper. Then um the third one is just some trim that I placed inside. Then um in the next row this pocket, I just used this image of this little girl with a cat and some of the other die cuts um, on the paper. I really like this image, it's really very vintagey. Then I, I found this die cut in the stack and I um, I was shopping around one of these Japanese bookshops when I saw they had this Eiffel Tower paper clip which is super super cute. So I decided to use this um, for my letter. Then um, there are some wood veneers. This is from the archivist. So, so I, I placed some additional wood veneers at the back. And I sealed it with some washi tape. Because I didn't want them to fall off, fall out actually. Then down here I have some uh, pearl strands that I also sealed. Then um, using some of the um, scrap that I had, I used my diamond dies to die cut this little banner out. This is the, di this is the diamond dies. Um, a little mini banner dies, yeah, and um, another die cut that uh, from that same um, die cut pack. Then I just um, yeah, traced out the um, other heart on orange cardstock, placed a bit of lace at the back, and just so this one is actually placed on a piece of acetate so that you, she can actually remove it and use it as an embellishment if she wants to. Then um, some bling on over here. So a very simple, straightforward um, pocket letter. I realized that when I go with a theme, it's so much easier for me to <laughs> create the pockets because then I don't have to worry so much about um, coordinating all the images and you know, because the paper does it for you. So yeah, this second one was way way easier for me to make and I really I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying myself now I'm planning to make more so um, at the side I just hung a little charm with um, a key an Eiffel Tower and this bobble um, this little dangle that I just made and then I have got um, this little tag that I just wrote um, some information on and um, this is my second pocket letter, so both my first and my second will be for Irene. <laughs> and uh, I'm planning to s do a third one um, 
to send to someone else, maybe or, or exchange with someone else. So this two will be going out in the mail. And um, thanks for watching. So I hope you enjoyed it. This is it's just simple, and I'm planning to make some with um, some shakers, but uh, I need to get a couple more sequins. I don't really have a lot. Um, I only have like single shape sequins um, like this container full of sequins. <laughs> I guess this is alright, but you know the the colors are all jumbled up, so it's more rainbow. So I might do one um, sequin shaker card with um. With the sequins there and i have a couple of uh, i've got tons and tons of glitter so yeah so i'm planning to do that for my future pocket letters so these are my two pocket letters i'm hoping to make more and i'll see you next time thanks for watching bye bye